He's from East Kingston and he goes by the name Gadawi. Let's hear about his musical career in this week's Up Next segment. Up Next is brought to you by Magnum Tonic Wine. Take charge. It's just money, hoes and clothes. That's all I need to do, yo. The Benjamins, the Euro house. Yeah, you know I'm that nigga with the high score. Yeah, yeah. First and foremost is Gadawi. One man army. You know? Born in Portland, raised in Kingston, I'm Jamaica. Passionate about music. First choice, and probably will be my last. Start music from a tender age, you know, from about shortly after I leave high school, about 2007. But professionally, I've been in the business about roughly a year now. Musically, I bring to the table, first and foremost, my style of music is dance and fusion. You know, I'm mainly Dance all fusion, you like hip hop, trap, them type of style. When me bring differently from that, from the music side, it's just myself, I just be myself. Since I don't really sing about nothing, what we not do. You understand? I what we not inspired to do. I what we see, we just keep it real. Okay, well, it's, it's actually two EP out, but the latest one is um, Crooks and Criminals. That's the latest one out right now. That EP is mainly for the streets, you know, for the people that love badness. People that I love, they just loan badness and madness. It's just for the streets, for the thugs, them. You know, just are looking at the ghetto life, the gangster life, um, the whole so called um, criminal element of the streets, or the um, so called streets life, or ghetto life, or inner city, or inner city community. It's entertainment. And at the same time, people want to be entertained. And that is my job, to entertain. Because if you if you um, pay your money to come see me up on a stage show and me na sing what you want or what the crowd want, you understand? Then you're not going to be pleased. You probably want a refund. You don't think in times like these when the world is on the edge and so much pandemic around and the world is at war, yeah. you don't think entertainers have a responsibility? You don't think that people want to hear something to inspire them? Good choice. Or should I say, good question or a good statement? That's very much so, but look at this. There is also a market for violence. You know? There's also a market for violence. People support it. Because I have good quality songs, and nobody don't even to look on that. I understand. At the same time, as I said, it's entertainment. You have to entertain people according to for them taste, for them appetite. You understand? And there's a market for that. It's just like Hollywood. It's just entertainment. Look at the movies. Badness do sells and it do pays. Me think you know, me think you know really know. Tell me where you know, me, me tell you where me know. Say where you think you know, me think you know really know. Tell My plan is just to leave an indelible mark on the business of a fully established musical recording studio or music production studio where we can produce for other young artists. Got rough for the young artists them out there. You understand? In this week's Kampar Returns feature, it's all about tailored suits and blazers. Check them out. Kampari Trends is brought to you by Kampari. Come together. The tailored suit is back and then it goes away and then it's back again only this time it's for leisure and not for work then it's out once more and then not the end of a suit has long been predicted yet despite the change towards the ever more casual dress codes in the workplace despite it no longer always being expected for even a wedding or a funeral the suit somehow survives but if in the past that's been more through the whims of fashion now it's through adaptation a response to the recognition of the simple fact that the suit is a practical garment and that deep down men like wearing it at least occasionally and especially in its new guise the new suit isn't something your grandfather would readily understand but it's something he might well have wanted to wear 
These days, the suit is as likely to be in baby blue or leaf green or washed out orange or red. Of course, this may make such a suit inappropriate in some settings, but it also makes it much more fun to wear out on an evening date. Men still shy away from colored clothing and wearing a bold suit will be a huge leap, but color looks best when indulged confidently rather than piecemeal. If a suit is fundamentally defined as a garment of two parts in the same fabric, it's clear why the track suit is so named, but then it's also clear why maintaining what definition allows for a multitude of other expressions. There's a generation now whose entire close conscious life has been dominated by skinny fits from jeans to t-shirts to suits. Everything has been worn as close to being a second skin as possible with some disastrous results for those whose body shape simply do not work with it. Be thankful then that the tide is turning, especially in the trouser department. A wider leg from relaxed to straight, flat fronted or with full pleats. This is the inevitable counter trend. It's lull rather than flappy but crucially cuts an actual silhouette, which is what tailoring is really all about. Coming up after the break, one-time dancehall artist Little Lenny talks about being expelled from KC and why he left the music business. This is one interview you don't want to miss. Ray and Neville, Fury Culture, yo! New beginning, we winning, so share our spirit where you're living, yeah. Share it! I make we all our one bar, you don't know we come from far. From far, easy. Anytime we read Fury Country, ah. we are on it, have come with me. No matter with the bad vibes Who are we around a celebration time? We are A Philly culture We are wrong Make we show ya We are wrong Jamaican culture We are never overproof And we just have to do it through the culture Ten years are old, drink, drink responsibly